Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome into the latest edition of Time Out with Mr. Ward. Time Out! We're timing out here at Generation Podcast, and kindly joining me today on this episode of Time Out is Tolliver Durbin. Tolliver, how's it going, man? Um, Pretty good. How about you? I can't complain. We're weeks, moments away from the holiday break um, as we record this today. And today we're going to talk about some traditions that we have, some maybe a top 10. I don't know. We might dive into that. Some other traditions. It all matters how long we go kind of thing. So, Tolliver, first of all, we're going to start off by saying, what are some traditions that you and your family do during the holiday season? Um, can't think of anything specific, but usually there's always this thing you hear about people opening a present before Christmas, like on Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. We've never done that. And usually my family just comes over. They usually spend the night at our house instead of, coming over the next morning so other than that nothing really special so like your grandparents come spend the night at your house Mm -hmm. okay that's pretty cool that's pretty cool uh for my family we go look at christmas lights every year um we have like our staple places that we go to um, Mm -hmm. around the lubbock area um gotta get ice cream when we go look at christmas lights i'm a little weird when it's cold outside that's when i want ice cream hit up the the dairy queen I love blizzards. There, there's your stat of the day. Um, I'm a cookie dough blizzard kind of guy. What kind of blizzard do you like? Um, I don't remember the last time I've been to Dairy Queen, but probably just like cookies and cream or Oreo, whatever you want to call it. Okay, the Oreo. Yeah, that's what my wife got a couple days ago, actually, when we went and looked at lights. Um, after On top of that, I put up lights in my house every year. And we traditionally don't put up the Christmas tree or the the or the decorations until after Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. But this year, my wife told me she wanted to list and she wanted it up before Thanksgiving, like a week before, and so I had to put it up. When do you put up y'all's decoration? Well, I think we did it the weekend of the end of the break we got, so last last weekend. Okay. That's oh well, that's like right after right after Thanksgiving then, right? Mm-hmm. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Yeah, it was good. Just slept a lot. <laughs> I feel that. Well, I have a one-year-old son. I, I actually, I don't feel that. <laughs> I don't feel that. Um, get, talking about some holiday th- traditions here. Um, what do you do for New Year's? Mm, nothing really. Just everyone goes out in our living room, watch the ball drop, listen to music, just have a good time, really. Pretty much it. Yeah, isn't it the worst at 11 o'clock when you see New York's ball drop and you're like, <laughs> I still got another hour. Yeah. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> yeah. That's about that's about how it goes. We always eat black-eyed peas on New Year's Day. Is that a thing in your family? Mm. They say it's like one black-eyed pea you eat is worth one day of good luck. And so I end up eating like a whole bowl of it to make sure I get 365. <laughs> I've never heard of that. It might be a thing. I don't know. He's judging me a little bit. Look at him. <laughs> yep. It's all right. It's all right. I, I, I get my year's worth of good luck. Hopefully I have more coming in 2022, which is weird to say. 2022. What year were you born, Tolliver? 2005. 2005. Okay. I don't know. I was born in the 90s, and so now as, as the years go higher, then it's, it's just it's crazy to me. Crazy. Uh, okay, so we talked about traditions that we do in our family for – Christmas for for New Year's and it's a whole bunch of family time during that time period would you say yeah a lot yeah a whole bunch of family time shout out to our family shout out to your family mm-hmm anybody specific mm, I see my grandmother okay shout out to grandma love that love to hear that um things that we've done though during this first semester we're going to get off of that and talk about our class now a little bit we've done a lot of interesting things we've done an stn competition that was a collaborative podcast which was really tough um we've done some horror fest competitions we've done some things in the class what is one thing that you've liked so far Tolliver? and then what's one thing that you want to do as we approach the second semester Mm, one thing i've liked I really like doing the horror film, and I'm looking forward to what we're doing right now, the sitcom. That sounds like it's going to be fun. The sitcom is going to be hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why don't we give the viewers a little preview since they this will be off the air by the time we actually run it. 
Well, basically, I think the idea we're going with is we're going to be like a news team. But we just put out mediocre news, pretty much. And it's like, it's like, if they're breaking news, there's a huge oil spill over here at the automotive department. And then it's like literally a drop of oil <laughs> on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. You know, they're calling it the after news because they're the afternoon class. And the afternoon uh, newscasts at TV stations are traditionally the lowest rating newscasts. Not very many people are watching. And so it kind of fits the name. <laughs> to go with the theme of what they're going to be going with. Yeah. It's really cool. If you were to go out of town, Tolliver, during this two-week break that we're about to be upon, where would you go and why? Mm, I think maybe New York. Okay, why New York? Because I know they have, like... Well, I think it's just iconic for Christmas time. Uh huh. And I'm pretty sure they have, like, some sort of fireworks, maybe, for Christmas. I know they have a big tree in New York that they light up. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's just iconic because movies like Home Alone and stuff is based off New York. I, love, I think that's a solid answer. If I was to travel anywhere, I want to go somewhere warm with a beach and some water. Um, I'm a cruise guy. I don't know why. I've always been, I don't know. My, my grandfather took me on one and I was hooked ever since. But I don't know. Sign me up for like Florida or something, you know? Miami. That sounds nice. Yeah. Put my put my feet in the sand, you know, and just enjoy it. But New York, uh, I, I would say that's a classic place. Mm -hmm. I had to adjust. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say New York. New York. So, yeah. okay. So that's where we would travel during the holiday season. I'm trying to think of another question that you could have. What are some of the staples that you have to have when you think of the holiday season? Mm, I think just having fun while the times around because it only happens throughout part of the year. And if you're not having a good time, it's going to be bad, so. Okay, just good vibes, good mm -hmm. energy kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, I, I get down on that. It's the most wonderful time of the year, I think is what that, the song says. Mm -hmm. uh, I think of Christmas lights. I think of going to the mall and seeing the, the Santa there at the mall. Yeah. I don't know why that was a tradition that we did whenever I was a kid. Um, probably staying up way too late because <laughs> you're on a break, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're all guilty of that, right? You probably mm -hmm. did that on the Thanksgiving break. You said you slept a lot, but it wasn't because you stayed That's up till like two in the morning? Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Time gets away from you. It slips away from you a little bit on those holiday breaks. Uh, continuing on with the Christmas theme, can you, Tolliver, I'm asking you this now, and I won't ask you on the day we do this, so I'm putting you on the spot here on Generation Podcast. Can you name me all of Santa's reindeer? I'm just going to say no, but I can try. Give it a try. Um, I'm going to count with my fingers right here. Rudolph. Do a slow, intense uh, zoom onto his face. Is one of them Dasher? Is yes. that one? So you got two. Mm. Think of the song. He is on the spot. I don't know. I can't <laughs> think of any. Okay. So he got two. It's pretty impressive. That's why we're doing this video. And you're going to be able to see that video running on Reel to Reel during the holiday break. Um, as I will put all of Tolliver's classmates on the spot. It is Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and, mm. and of course, Rudolph. Last year, interesting enough, here's your flashback. Dasher, Dancer, Comet, and Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, so you got four. You got four. I got four out of nine. Nine. Well, anyway. Great flashback. Mr. Bland said Vixen was Mr. Dixon. <laughs> Do you think that happens during this one? Hmm. No. No. Okay. I think it happens. I don't think it's going to be Mr. Bland, but I think it's going to be somebody. That's my bet. If I'm a bet man, I'm going for it. All right, to wrap up this podcast, Tolliver, um, I want to hear your New Year's resolution. What, what are you going to be wanting to do in 2022? Mm. He's thinking hard on 
this. I put him on the spot. He had no clue that was coming too. While you think about it, I'll tell you mine, okay? I want to continue to be a, a better father um, and a better husband, um, continue to grow every day. And my New Year's resolution is to be my best self every day, right? Don't let the little things get me down. Try to be positive mindset all the time um, and just continue to improve myself. Um, I think for me, I think no matter what happens next year, I just want to have a good time doing it since it'll be my last year of high school. Um, and yeah, just trying to make memories out of every chance I get. There you go. Taking advantage of every opportunity you get, making memories out of it. I hope to see many hats next year <laughs> yeah. for Tolliver. This guy loves hats. That's why I had to bust out the, the old Santa hat here today. Well, Tolliver, thank you for timing out with me today. That's another episode of Timing Out with Mr. Ward. We timed out with Tolliver. Thanks so much for tuning in on Generation Podcast. So welcome back to Minutes with Michelle. I'm Michelle, and I'm here with Alexis from Mental Minds. And today we're going to talk about our Christmas type of things, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Christmas. Christmas things. So, Alexis, is there any, like, um, Christmassy traditions you have? Well, you know, everybody does the normal Santa. Uh, what is it called? Like when they just um, sit on Santa and you secret Santa, secret Santa. Oh. Everybody always, oh. <laughs> everybody <laughs> always does um, secret Santa. But one of our family traditions is white elephant. It's I'm pretty sure everybody knows it too. I'm pretty sure a lot of people play. I have a funny story but with that. But like, the funny thing is, like, we always do funny gifts, and we never like do like really good gifts. Sometimes we do really good gifts in the like actual game, but. Most of the um, gifts are really funny, so like it's better like to trade for the good gifts and stuff. But yeah, yeah, that's our, that's one of the coolest family traditions. Is white elephant. I there's like this one story that I have with that. Um, I used to play basketball, and when we played ba- <laughs> 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 fail, <laughs> I used fail. to play basketball, and with that I um, there was a bunch of like team mandatory parties that you had to go to, and I don't know why. But mandatory parties. Yeah, they make you go to parties, like not like you know, like um, you know, like. Well, that's kind of fun. They make you go to like, like team, team parties. parties. Yeah. yeah, like team building, team and, bonding. Um, team bonding. Yeah, that's what they're called, like team bonding parties. And they yeah. did this Christmas party one time, and everybody had to bring a gift for White Elephant. And um, oh. I had brought something for I knew a lot of people liked. I don't eat hot chips. I don't really. Wait, like did them. you tell me this story before? No, I don't think so. Okay, but it kind of sounds. I familiar. don't like hot chips. Like I don't like hot Cheetos, Dynamite, Takis. Um, no, I hate them. Oh but majority of the girls on the team like those chips. She's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> She's crazy. Majority of those girls like those chips, and so I had bought some because I was like, oh yeah, somebody's gonna love this, and so I had bought those with monsters and like you know little chocolates on those types of things. Yeah. And so um. Um, as everybody was getting their gifts, I, p- I picked out this one gift and unwrapped it, and it was, like, this really soft blanket. Ooh. And it was so pretty, and I loved it. Like, literally, I did not want to switch it out at all. And then somebody... Got, oh, somebody saw it. Somebody got my gift, and it was another girl who did not like Takis or Monsters or Chocolate. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I do not like Monsters, Takis, or Chocolate. Mm-hmm. Um... And there's, like, only two other girls that did not like those types of things. And one of those girls had picked out my gift. And um, I was like, oh, man, hopefully they don't switch it to mine. And they switched my gift to... They, they stole my gift. And I ended up with the gift that I had bought. And I was so disappointed. Did you tell the teacher? No, it was a coach. And um, he was like, uh, you ended up with it. Yeah, he was like, you just keep it. And I was like... Oh, no. Um, I don't eat. Well, actually, I actually demolished dynamites. I'm a freaking. I could eat them all day. Like, I don't like takis because takis are a little. Uh, the flavor's not that good. But I like dynamites a lot, and I'll chew on dynamites all day. I just don't like really spicy things. Um, I've never been a fan. But everybody else, I I just don't. I don't understand. But anyways, besides the point. Next I, uh, next topic. <laughs> oh, really? Next so one. since you told me your um, Christmas t- tradition, it's my turn to tell you mine. Uh, I just feel like it's just me talking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, not um, really. I think we've gotten some pretty even talking. So, for forever since forever since I was like born, we've always gone gone to my tia's house. My tia lives in like a two two little bedroom house, and 
it is only enough to fit like two families, like big enough to fit two families. But yeah. you know, like I'm, we make it work. We make it work. Yeah. And we ended up, we end up with like ten different families, all <laughs> in the little house, dude. And, uh, all the, when all the Mexicans <laughs> come together, it's literally just a whole big old bean dip with a lot of people in it. <laughs> it's a bean dip pool. Oh uh, yeah, literally because like we um we go there we go to my tia's house to open presents but the thing is we open presents like a week earlier before than christmas because um or two weeks earlier before christmas because um of um my family goes to mexico and so we want to like open presents with our family that stays here and we want yeah. to open presents with our family that can't come here yeah so yeah, yeah. um before we leave to mexico we we open our presents and yeah. um after that, the like two hours later, we just all leave. We all leave the country, <laughs> and then um, we open presents with our aunts and uncles in Mexico who don't live here, obviously. Yeah, and that's our Christmas tradition, really, and nothing big. Uh-huh. But I think it's, it's it just makes me happy. We always celebrate on Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, and then at twelve o'clock we usually open the presents. We start opening the presents, but yeah. Um, and then, like, before that, we always play games. Like, we play charades. We play a white elephant. We play just, like, some little games. And then we create, like, Christmas games sometimes. We'll do new new games. But we try to keep um, time. And then, usually, we always make the tamales. Those are oh, so good. The tamales <laughs> are so good. On the topic of food, what's your favorite, what's your favorite like, Christmas dish? You know how I'm Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Mexican food. Yes, I. You've told us this before. You like Chin- Japanese, Chinese. You like. Um, I know you like seafood. You love seafood. Yeah, I, I like know seafood. you love seafood. But <laughs> like, um, since I'm Mexican, obviously my family is Mexican, so they make a lot of Mexican food, and yeah. I just don't eat Mexican food. So, but there's one thing that I will always eat during um, the Christmas parties is my my cousin's like cherry pie. She brings cherry pie. <laughs> <and> <laughs> she eats the dessert out of all the food. <laughs> Every single thing that's on the table, I only eat the cherry pie. Oh, my God. And everybody gets so mad. They're like, Michelle, eat. Eat something before you get dessert. You're going to give the children bad uh, bad influence. I'm like, <laughs> um, I don't care. Okay, see, because I like, see, because every Christmas, like a couple days before Christmas, like our party at Christmas Eve, we will make tamales with my grandmother. And my oh, grandmother's yeah. never here anymore. So um, we usually... Like the past Christmas, because she wasn't here last Christmas either. We made him. We made him a couple days before. But my favorite dish is tamales, or we'll also have uh, what other? What do we have? I I can't even think about it. But I do know that I chow down on them tamales oh, because oh, like the only mm. the only thing that I'll eat like that's Mexican food is like menudo. I put oh. like cilantro oh. on it and then like squeeze a bunch of lime. <laughs> yes. in it. but I can't yes. eat it. I cannot eat it without the cilantro or the lime. Cause I can get down on some menudo. It's yes. so good. Or like you know, have you with had a lot it? of lemon? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> have you had it like the day after and it's like chunky? Okay, yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. It's like oh. hard, not like literally. It's like gelatin. Yeah. I still eat it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it in the microwave. No, it's yes. So good. It's like, it's You've never it. had menudo. You're missing out because mm, that's I, like the best whenever it's freezing cold outside. I would hardcore judge you if you never had menudo. <laughs> yes, I would too. Like, who are you? I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, movies. what is your like? Oh, yeah. Favorite movie. Mine is like, I'm not like really the Christmassy type of person, but uh-huh. I think I really enjoy Home Alone. I thought you were gonna say Nightmare Before Christmas. I feel like that's everybody's. <laughs> no, I feel like it's everybody's I don't thing. Like that movie, it's scary. <gasps> what? <laughs> Jack and Sally? Oh my god, I love Jack and Sally. I actually okay. See, so I've seen the movie like a long time ago, but I haven't seen it recently, and I don't remember the movie at all. But I know Jack and Sally, and I love them. And who's it by? Like, who's the creator? Tim Burton. Of it? Tim Burton. I love Tim Burton. He's like his design and style is so amazing. But my favorite Christmas movie would probably be. The Grinch. I mean, the like, Grinch. It's I feel like the original. The I Grinch. <laughs> Cindy Lou. I mean, who wouldn't? I feel like people would. Would. I feel like yeah, the Grinch. It's, it's, it's the most seasonal. I feel like I don't know. I feel like everybody goes to the Grinch. Like, oh my gosh, how do we ever have like a Grinch in your family? Like, sometimes like <laughs> Christmas is not okay, like Christmas is stressful. Christmas is stressful. And so like, it's literally, yeah, like oh my gosh. there's always that one person that's just so mad during the holidays and like. Just give me my gift, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just give me it. Literally. Go. Yeah, I'm just like, you don't got to be here. Just give me my gift. <laughs> <laughs> and 
yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I Yeah, there are those people. I have those people. I'm at the age where I don't get gifts anymore. You know? I'm pro- <laughs> yeah, I'm at that age too, dude. Like last year, I don't know what I got. I don't think I got anything for Christmas last year. I'm not even gonna lie. I think last year I got a pair of socks. Literally, I probably got like a couple <laughs> things, like literally there was literally nothing. But I don't really care. I feel like the best thing about Christmas is family coming together. You yeah, get a like lot of family time my and friend. I'm so sorry. And we don't <laughs> no, you're good, and we don't really get that a lot. So it feels really good and really nice to know that you have a lot of family around you, especially Thanks. during Christmas time. My fam, my family, my friend. Um, she told me that she, her, and her mom were actually going to, instead of giving gifts, they're that they're just gonna like spend time with each other. And I thought that was one of the nicest things ever because like I sometimes want to spend time with like not even just like my immediate family, but with like all the extended people in my family yeah it yeah be such like a good thing to do like you know just have like a little big fat family like movie night oh yeah i want to do that see because c- um i'm really trying to spend a lot of time with my grandfather because my grandmother already passed away so i'm trying to get like as much time as i can with him because i know he's already like 75 76 mm-hmm. so i am definitely planning to spend the holiday with him and his rv so we're we're gonna go fishing oh, that's so we're going uh we're not being in love like that's for sure well uh whatever you do be safe and i think that is all that we have time for today thank you for um listening to us talk and we'll ramble <laughs> literally just ramble we talk about the we just the talk about anything yeah. honestly like, i don't even think that most of the things we talked about were on the thing he said <laughs> i know literally and so um thank you and have a nice day welcome to the zero hours off podcast uh i am zach and uh, i'm taylor you're just not gonna let me finish my intro thank nope. you okay um it's been a while it has indeed holidays coming up or let's talk about previous holidays uh how was thanksgiving it was pretty good uh i went to my grandparents and that was really good because like my grandma makes really good like pie so she made like chocolate and pecan pie and it was so good um and then i just went home and slept i was so (laughs) tired i love that yeah that is that's you know that's pretty much pretty good thanksgiving (laughs) that's pretty much it i literally went to my grandparents ate went home slept (laughs) <laughs> solid do any shopping on black friday or cyber monday god no <laughs> god no i was i stayed home you kidding me i'm not leaving the house for that you know no. like i i have my aunts and they're like hey you want to get a black i'm like you me me no i know no, one of my mom's friends called her and she was like yeah we're gonna go to black friday and my mom was like are you crazy and she was like well if you don't hear from me in the next two days then you know what happened <laughs> i was like Okay. <laughs> People would just be wilding in the stores. I mean, yeah. Um, Black Friday, don't mess with it. Yeah. Uh, so Christmas is coming up. Anything True. like big on your wish list or something? Uh, yeah. I actually asked for a laptop because I will be in college next year. So. Dang! What a loser! Imagine going to college. Literally, shut up. Next year. Imagine <laughs> being named Zach. <laughs> Best roast. That's it. End the podcast. I'm done. <laughs> Walk out. What's it called? So, um, laptop. Necessity for college, for sure. Uh, very much so. <laughs> Where are you planning to attend? Um, if you do, though. Or top three. Right now, I'm Let's get a commitment. on either going just straight to UNT or going to South Plains for a year to get my basics out of the way, and then going to UNT. Okay, so we don't got a commitment yet? No, not yet. Not yet? Okay. Not yet. You know, not I'm, yet. I'm a big sports guy, so. No commitment. No commitment? Okay. No. Um, I'm not a sports gal, so. <laughs> so this podcast is supposed to be like about like helping yourself. So I guess I'll ask the question just so I can get out of, get it out the way. Okay. Um, so, so w- after Christmas is New Year's. Mm-hmm. New, we're gonna talk about it. New Year's resolutions. How would you like to s- see yourself get better? Survive to the end of the school year. Graduate. Survive to graduation. There you go. That's probably my biggest one. This year, it's been a rough year, but um, yeah, probably just graduate high school um, and get a job after I start driving. Imagine not having your license. L- <laughs> Actually, stop talking. All right, that's it. We're done. You're done. <laughs> You're done. You don't have your license? 
No, I don't. I will in February. I turn 18 in February. How old are you? So I am 17 right now. Wow. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I just want you to repeat your age. What? What is it? <laughs> That's it. That is it. What's your New Year's resolution, Zach? Huh? Uh, I want to get back into uh, scripture because I was uh, really good at the beginning of the year of doing my devotionals, but then, like, mm. I fell off <laughs> heavy. I'm not a very religious person, but huh, period. Period. Uh, I'm usually not. That's the yeah. thing. So, like, yeah, as you can see, I just fell out of, I fell off between, like, two <laughs> weeks almost. Yeah. What is something, uh, anything you want to talk about? Um... I don't know. I think we were supposed to talk about like the holidays. What's um, what's the biggest thing you asked for? Like, what's some things you asked for on your huh, Christmas list? Okay, so I like don't like asking for presents. Like, if yeah. I really don't, like even on my birthday, I'm just like, don't give me anything, bro. Yeah, just, just come out. We'll have fun. That's yeah. literally how I am. So like the one thing I did ask for <laughs> from my mother this year is a new pair of Burks because mine uh, ripped. So oh, the strap just said. And I was just like, that's so rough. I wear my Burks constantly. Literally, I'm, I'm so lazy. Like I'll wake up and I'll just be like, I don't want to wear shoes. And so I just put on my Birkenstocks and walk out the door. No. Okay. So I, I, I wore them like a lot last year, but like not in the morning. Cause my feet were always cold. I was just saying, I don't remember you wearing them. That makes sense. Yeah. Cause no. we had it first period. I'd pull up to first period and I'm just like, nah, man. I, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a socks and sandals guy. Like I, See, the Burks I have, it's the one with the toe. Like, it's not just the oh. two straps. <laughs> so, like, I can't wear socks with them. Otherwise, I honestly probably would. You know, I'm, uh, I'm just person. not a socks socks and sandals guy. Burks. I also put Birkenstocks on mine. But I put, like, the, you know, like, the potato ones? Yes. I yes. put those on mine because so, I want those so bad. Yeah, I had all I had the all black ones. And I'm like, oh, I want some brown ones. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think I have brown ones. But the ones I put on my Christmas list were, like, it's like the light brown kind of gray. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like that. Didn't they have an olive one? Kind of? Like yeah, olive? it's like, it's kind of an olive. It's got like a green undertone. Yeah, that's yeah. What, yeah. Yeah. That, that one's nice, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, um, Where are you looking? I see you're wearing long horns. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, this is, would be, isn't my dream school, or it is my dream school and isn't at the same time. Yeah. Because, uh, what's it called? Uh, I just don't want to live in Austin, first of all. Austin, it's like... Like, it's cool and all, but, like, I don't know if I could live there. <laughs> it's either you're seen or it isn't. Like, you kind of have to, like, be... Like, I, hey, you'll, you'll probably see me next year pull up to a game like I usually do every year. Yeah. But, like, I don't think I could live there. No. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. But uh, Arizona State's my number one school. Right okay. Uh, okay. Been to, been to Arizona once. Did not tour the school, but uh, <laughs> played golf courses. And uh, hey, the weather there... Always golf weather, so. Yeah, that's true. It's, like, always warm. I don't think it's, like, ever cold in Arizona. It is not. I'm, no. So, like, the tournament I played in, it was, like, yeah. 111. It was, like, dang. That's nasty. Hot. I hate being hot. I'm such a hot nature person. I hate being hot, so I usually stick to, like. Speaking of being hot, can we get some AC in here? Like, we need, like, a whole vent in this room. We are, like, burning up in this room there's absolutely no ventilation in this room it's funny because when i came in here the other day it was so cold because no one had been in here and none of the lights were on <laughs> okay my first podcast i did i forgot how to turn on these lights like i was like there's like a switch on the back no i switched it and i was like hello and then i switched that one the plug <laughs> it wasn't working and oh. miss Sula just comes in <laughs> i swear I feel, yeah. I feel like moms and like like women over 18 just like they have that instinct so like if you can't do something like as a guy like you, they're just gonna go over there and like barely Fix do it. something and then it's gonna work it's just guaranteed all, all right, right. Well. so uh this was supposed to be out about holiday so i hope your holiday uh whether it is hanukkah <laughs> or um christmas or there anyone anybody anything else you know i don't know if you don't celebrate christmas or hope you have a good break because like yeah have a good br oh yeah like just in general if you don't celebrate any good of these new holidays years. have a good new year's at least have a good break from work i mean we all need it mental health that's what this is for it's supposed to be at least <laughs> but um yeah signing off
this has been Zero Hours Off with Zach and special guest, Taylor. Mm-hmm.